Now the eight breaks it out, has five, has ten, and he's off to the races. In fact, he's going to score on the opening play from scrimmage, 66 yards. This is not the kind of start that Missouri coach Gary Pinkle wanted. You know, Lane gets it away and he just throws it away. That was Pierre Allen again with the pressure and then six snaps from center. They do not have a positive yard yet. Well this means it is Henry time. Ball is going to be placed out at the 31 so a 41 yard attempt. Crowd loves him, and they should. He just keeps making them. Doesn't matter what the distance is. Ten to nothing, Nebraska on top. Ten to nothing. Huskers lead it. Pressure off the corner. Gabbard gets away. No, he does not. He got him by the ankle. That is Levante David, who got a hand out and tripped him up just enough. And Gabbard couldn't maintain his balance. He goes down at the 32-yard line. <laughs> And I don't know uh, that that's the right thing to do with the games that they played Martinez by far his best game first player in the history of this program to be over 300 passing 100 rushing and then Gabbert who was eight of nine in that fourth quarter when the game was on the line against number one Oklahoma I, I think that was the fair thing to do split it down the middle. That is a low number for him Martinez play action going to go on top got a man out there at the ten at the five Kyler Reed. Last week he torched Oklahoma State. He brought it with him this week. Well, Ron, after the Missouri defense enjoyed their first, um, I wouldn't say lengthy break, but they've had some time to sit down. And Dave Steckel, the coordinator, has been telling them, guys, it's all about fundamentals. He said, remember your focus. He goes, that first guy has got to wrap up. I want everybody else rushing the ball. And Steckel has uh, sort of an analogy for his defense. He calls it the fist. If the fingers are spread out, they're not as powerful. But when they're close together, they have a lot of power. And he wants to see more of that right now. No, they pull the guards running play to the right, and here we go again. Hello down the sideline, and he's going to have another distance job. Let's make this one 73 yards. Ricky Henry with the key block. That's Terrence Moore. Second time that he has been sacked in this football game. Sacked again, and now here comes a flag. Yeah, they're, they're going to get crick for uh, targeting on Gabbert. Gabbert still looking. Okay, he's running for his life. There is red everywhere he looks. His guys are trying their backsides off to see that they can help their quarterback, but Pierre Allen and Levante David, you get by one and then there's the other. And it's uh, they are putting on relentless pressure. The uh, the black shirt defense for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Well, of course he took that hit there. He got up a little slowly after that hit from Meredith, but he has not looked like himself at all yet in this ball game. You see Carl Pellini, the defensive coordinator, making the signals to his defensive unit. This time, a four man rush on third down. Gabbard steps up, throws the ball at that single coverage, and it is intercepted. And that's Gomes. Gomes with the interception around the 15 yard line, and he's still returning. It takes it back to the 32. Ed, uh, 
there's no question we both thought coming into this football game that Nebraska is a very good football team. Good heavens they let it all go in that first quarter. Bo needs to bottle and, uh, and save whatever they did before this one. Yeah, they, well, as we go to break, just take a look at uh, the two boxes on the right and the reason that Blaine Gabbard could not have a chance on this third down pass play. Huskers 24 7. We'll be right back. Move when you're on block. Keeps it this time. Brings it back to the near side, and there is one of those good open field tackles that we told you about from the Missouri Tigers. That's uh, Jackson who made the hit. Kenja Jackson, sophomore out of Mansfield, Texas. And uh, Martinez limping just a little bit, favoring that right leg. Boy, he is. And that was a, uh, a low tackle by Jackson right on that right thigh. And, you know, those thigh pads, they don't cover the side of your leg. They mostly cover the front. And if you take a helmet on the side, that's very painful. Hello, Charlie. He is. And, and you, I'm, you get, I've had a deep thigh bruise. I had a running back one time when I was in the NFL hit the outside of my thigh full speed. And those thigh pads, you know, guys don't like to wear very big ones. And that's exactly what happened. It, the thigh pad almost always just protects right on the front and Jackson got on the side there and that that is something if it's a deep thigh bruise that can really start to affect you and you may see Green or Zach Lee have to come in this game. John Saunders alongside of Jesse Palmer and Roy Hallou Jr. Big guy can really move can he just. He had 148 yards on his first four carries and two touchdowns. That's why this team's averaging 6.6 .6 yards per carry tops in the nation heading into today. All right you Gary Pinkle in Missouri you just knocked off the number one team in the nation in Oklahoma. You're feeling really good about yourselves. We got to go on the road to Nebraska and we throw up an egg. This is the Nebraska defense I think we all expected to see after they got lit up for 495 yards last week in a win against Oklahoma State. They're doing a great job on the back end in coverage and that's forced to cover a couple of coverage sacks for quarterback Blaine Gabbard of Missouri on the flip side very impressed with freshman quarterback Taylor Martinez he continues to get better throwing the football struggled a little bit early in the year against South Dakota State struggled a lot against Texas but in the last two games now yeah. he's really developing making this offense a lot more balanced and a lot tougher to defend he has a touchdown pass in the game as well second